everyone, I'm Mind, and welcome back to another episode of Mind Monthly, where I'm going to be reviewing a lot of LEGO sets in one video. Now, this is a series that I started probably almost a year ago at this point, but the last episode was in, like, December, and it was meant to be a monthly series, however, I just got really, really behind with stuff. But the idea behind this series is it's meant to be a casual video where I just talk with you guys about LEGO sets I've gotten recently, LEGO news, and then in the past there was also a Q&A aspect. I'm hopefully going to get back to all that for next month, but I have a lot of LEGO sets that I've gotten over the past six months that I have not talked about yet. So the point of this episode specifically is to review all of those sets. Now these are all sets I never got around to making full reviews on, but of course I still want to give you guys my thoughts on them. And many of them were sent to me by the LEGO group through the LEGO Ambassador Network, but as always, all opinions expressed in this video are my own. But yeah, for all the sets I covered in this video, unless I explicitly stay otherwise, chances are they were sent to me by LEGO. Of course, I won't be going as in-depth with these sets as I do in my normal reviews because we have a lot of sets to get to, but I still thought it'd be fun to cover them, so with all that being said, let's just get started. Let's take a look at all these different sets. So we're going to start by taking a look at a couple of LEGO Minecraft sets that came out earlier this year. I meant to do four reviews of these and then I just never got to it so I thought I might as well include it in this video. But here we have the End Arena. This one retails for $25 in the US and this one I actually think is really good. I was super happy with it. It's rare that we get end sets in LEGO Minecraft. I'm really glad they did something different with this one and didn't just remake the Dragon Fight again. This set comes with their first Shulker which is super cool. I love how that figure opens up. Always nice to have another way to get Enderman too. And both player figures in the set are pretty great as well. Looks like they both have scars on their faces, which is a fun touch, and I love all the different weapons they come with, the netherite sword, the enchanted axe, enchanted bow, as well as this exclusive printed shield piece. Now this figure unfortunately does reuse a torso print from another figure in another set, which is just a little disappointing because we don't see LEGO Minecraft do that usually, but it really isn't that big of a deal, both these guys are super cool, and getting two unique skins for only $25 is really nice. There's also a golden carrot in this set, and it's supposed to come with a red potion bottle too to be a healing potion, however I just seem to have misplaced that. And then I think this pit that opens up in the center is a ton of fun. With a lava at the bottom too, it feels like it could be an actual Minecraft PvP battle over Arena. There's also a giant dragon statue at the back, which is supposed to have a fireball that shoots out. That's another thing that I've just misplaced in the six months since I got this set. But yeah, you guys can assume how it works. It shoots out from right there. And there's a look at the entire set from the back, too. If you're a fan of LEGO Minecraft and haven't gotten this set yet, I would actually highly recommend it. You get three exclusive figures as well as one pretty uncommon figure. A fairly solid build, and I think it's just fun to play with. Feels worth the price, too, in my opinion. I guess I should say this is not one that LEGO sent me. This is one that I bought myself. Yeah, I spent my own $25 on this, and I don't regret it. Just a really great set all around. Next, we have the Swamp Adventure, which retails for $9.99, and this is another one where, like, if you like LEGO Minecraft at all, this is one you should definitely pick up, because it's just so much fun. You have a total of four minifigures in this set, it also comes with a zombie, I don't know where I put the zombie, but I'm sure you guys have seen LEGO Minecraft zombies before. But more importantly, it comes with a slime figure, and these guys are not the most uncommon in the world, they have come in a few sets in recent years, still though, they're not nearly as common as, like, zombies and skeletons, so getting them in a super cheap set is very nice to see, and obviously they fit the Swamp theme very well. But even more importantly than that is the all-new frog figure, and this guy is absolutely perfect, he's cute he's goofy and he fits Minecraft so well. They did a great job with this one and I'm really looking forward to seeing more variants in the future. But then the rest of the set's just a little bit of swamp terrain. You get a crafting table to block a TNT with an explosion feature on the side. But I really like this tree at the back too because it almost feels like this set's meant to be modular. Like if you move the top of the tree in like this and then get three more of this set and like connect all four of the corners, that would make an even bigger swamp terrain. And all the figures of this set are very army buildable too. So yeah, if you're a fan of LEGO Minecraft, I recommend you pick this one up. And if you really love LEGO Minecraft and really like this set, it might be worth picking up more than one. I've considered getting a second one. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I might still at some point. But yeah, yet another really solid set. Alright, now we're gonna get into the LEGO Friends sets, and I have a lot of these to get through. LEGO sent me the entire wave of LEGO Friends sets earlier this year, which was super generous of them, but they were very generous earlier this year. They sent me City, Ninjago, Monkey Kid, Minecraft, Star Wars, and Friends. And I think that, I think that's all of it. Oh no, also Mario. So yeah, they sent me a lot of sets earlier this year, and I just didn't have time to get to all of them, because I'm only one person. And LEGO Friends, while I did really like the sets, was a huge wave and it's also not what my audience is typically into. So I only got around to doing four views of like two or three of them. But yeah, this is the main point of this video is to cover the rest of them. So we'll be starting with this one right here. This is the Dog Rescue Center. This one retails for $59.99 in the US. And this set's solid. It's personally not one of my favorites of the way, but that doesn't make it bad. I think there's a lot of kids out there who will probably really enjoy this. The idea of like a dog rescue center slash a veterinarian's office, I'm sure a lot of kids would love. I know I would have loved that as a kid. But yeah, let's really quickly go through everything in this set. There's three total mini dolls in the set, starting here with Autumn. Autumn is, of course, the new main character of LEGO Friends, and she does come in quite a few sets, however. It's still nice to get her here. I really love that hairpiece on her. Then we have Zack, another one of the new main characters. He's got a pretty cool hairpiece, too, which is coming in LEGO City sets now as well, which makes me happy to see. And then finally, there's Gabriella, who I believe is 
exclusive to this set? I'm not sure. I guess we'll see as I go through the rest of this video. But I love that hairpiece on her. It's a really good hairpiece in general, but I believe this is an exclusive color for this character. And it looks great. And you can see she's like in a full veterinarian's outfit. But then there's like four separate builds of this set. Starting right here, this is a little park for the dogs to play. You got balls and sticks as well as a hot dog and a stick. This is definitely fun for play. Then we have this sign with pictures of the dogs that says adopt on it. And finally a little bath to bathe the dogs in. Coming to the main build though, you can see there's this outside area with stalls for the four dogs in this set. And each of the dogs is very different and I love that you get so many here. There's like this yellow lab which actually looks quite sad and dirty. That's a little bit, <laughs> that's a little bit sad to see. But I believe this dog does have in other sets. However, I don't know if it has like the dirty markings on it in other sets. But regardless, good to get here. Then we have the dog in the wheelchair which does come in quite a few sets but this piece is awesome. I absolutely love this little guy. And then finally there's this little black dog. I'm not sure if he's meant to be blind or if he's just closing his eyes. But he's absolutely adorable as well. I love that you get three different dogs here and I think all of them are great. There's a slide at the back of this tree right here too I guess to drop into the dog pen area. And then this building on the side is the actual veterinarian's clinic. Looking inside, there's like a seat to sit and wait, a little receptionist desk with a computer on it, as well as some food and water for a dog, a little receptionist desk with a computer on it, as well as some food and water for a dog, and then up above that is the actual vet clinic where there's lots of different room to post the figures. This looks like a scale to weigh the dog, this is a table for the dog to stand on, and this is maybe like a little couch for them to rest. But yeah, overall I'd say this is a solid set. Personally not one of my favorites of the way, but I definitely see how kids could really like this, and I'm happy it exists. Next we have the Heart Lake Downtown Diner set. This one retails for $29.99. And this is actually really good. Even if you're not a fan of LEGO Friends, this might actually be a set I still recommend. It's not like overly colorful, like it is still bright, but it feels like these are the colors that a diner should be. I love the little sandwich above the sign and this can actually spin, which is so much fun. There's a wanted sticker in the window for the cat that comes in this set. And I don't know, that's just so funny to have these two right next to each other. That alone makes this set for me. There's a drive through window too, which is a nice touch. And looking inside, there's a video game console with some sort of chicken game. It looks like the chicken's laying eggs and you have to catch them. Also a jukebox in the corner, which can actually be moved back and forth represent it shaking to the music. You've got your menu right here where you can order sandwiches and a whole bin full of ingredients. And then there's a separate build of a seating area with two chairs. I really like this little napkin container build. It's only a few parts, but I actually think it's done really well. And then of course there's a sandwich right here. I kind of wish this was connected to the main build. I'm not really sure why it's not. It's not too difficult to customize if you wanted to, but it's a shame it's not like that by default. And then looking at the mini dolls in the set, we have Aaliyah who has a fantastic hair piece. I hope to see that used in other themes. And I actually like the outfit she has on here too. She comes with a little pen and a notebook as accessories. And then we have Leanne who comes with a skateboard in the set and also has an alternate hairpiece when she's not on her skateboard and finally we have charlie whose hairpiece i actually really like it's a sleepy head hairpiece but in this light blue color i'm pretty sure that's exclusive to this set and it looks amazing i feel like you can make some pretty cool customs with that so this set honestly overall i recommend the price is genuinely quite good you get a good selection of figures and the build's actually really nice so even if you don't like lego friends if you just like expanding like a lego city this set would probably fit in pretty well certainly not going to be for everybody but definitely don't overlook this one this next set that we're going to look at is one of my favorites of this year and that is the organic grocery store this one retails for $89.99 in the US, which is definitely high. Even though I love this set, it feels like it should be $70 max. Still though, what you get in this set is amazing. This is of course a grocery store, and it actually feels complete. It doesn't feel like it's downscaled for friends. Like no, it feels like you get everything you need here. Genuinely just the perfect addition to a LEGO City. I love the fresh market sign at the front with all the different fruits there. And there's also these double sliding doors which can be opened up. There's a recycling can on the side that empties out into this box right here, which that's totally unnecessary, but it's a super fun inclusion. I love how there's actually an area to return the shopping carts. That's such a fun touch. And you get two of the shopping cart pieces in this set too, which is actually really nice to see because that's a great part, but it's pretty uncommon. Looking inside, I adore how spacious everything is. It doesn't feel cramped at all. Plenty of room to pose figures, whether they're mini dolls or minifigures. And there's so many different products for your minifigures to buy too. There's a pretty large area at the entrance of the store. There's also a mop on the wall and a little trash can. I love that they did the checkout counter with the conveyor belt right here. And yes, the conveyor belt can actually roll. There's also printed bubblegum pieces right here, which I've not seen before, but those are a really nice touch. On the right side, there's a bit of a refrigerator which has lots of different products in there such as milk, orange juice, and eggs at the top. And then there's also a little spill on the floor which can very easily be removed if you clean it up with the mop. Then on the other side you have all sorts of fruits and vegetables. You've got baskets right here to put them in but then we have just the classic Lego banana piece. This little ball with a flower piece on top which I assume is meant to be an orange. We have red apples. They use the ice cream piece in purple here to be grapes and I think that works perfectly. Then we have carrots what I assume are meant to be some sort of pepper. Another purple plant that's maybe meant to be an eggplant. And then this one at the very back uses the fez piece in red. There's also some other foods here, cookies and donuts. Those are all printed pieces that are very nice to get. And then the set also includes this car for the grocery store, which looks like it has pumpkins in the back. And it's a fairly big car too. It actually fits two whole mini dolls. I love the design of that windshield. The sticker pieces on the side are a nice touch too. In terms of minifigures for the main characters, we get Autumn and Leo. And these guys come in quite a few sets. However, I like the outfits that come in in this set. Then we also have Jordan, who I believe is the first Lego Friends minifigure to have vitiligo, which that's always nice to see. She's got a great hair piece too. And it looks like her outfit's meant to be a uniform for working in the store. We also have Isaac, who's an older man, which is something we don't see all too often in Lego Friends. So I guess if for what 
whatever reason you want a more diverse age range for your LEGO Friends characters, this figure is nice to get. Hairpiece is nothing all too special, but white is a slightly more uncommon color for it. And then we have Alba, who's a child mini doll, and I'll never get on board with these child mini dolls, they just seem a little bit uncanny to me. But I do like the hairpiece on her, that's fun at least. And I do like the idea of the dinosaur shirt. Just not the biggest fan of the proportions of these guys, it just feels a little bit odd. But yeah, great set all around. When it comes to LEGO Friends sets, unfortunately I won't be able to keep most of them together just because I don't have the space for all of them, but this is one that I'm definitely going to keep together because it's just amazing. The price point on this one is unfortunate, however, if you ever find it on sale, I'd honestly recommend you pick it up if you're interested in it, because even if you don't care about LEGO Friends, this is a fantastic grocery store. And while I don't have this set, it looks a lot better than the LEGO City grocery store that we got last year. Next, here's Autumn's House, which retails for $69.99 in the US and has 853 pieces. This is another one that I genuinely think is really good. The colors are bright here, but they're not too flashy, and I think it's just genuinely a really nice looking cottage. I love all the foliage all over it, and the little horse stable's a fun touch too. This set includes two of these little rocking chairs with the mini dolls, and I absolutely love these. I think they're so much fun. Here's a look at the horse stable in the set, which yes, does come with a horse figure. The proportions on this horse figure are definitely very weird. I guess it fits with Lego Friends and everything, but I don't know. This one, in my opinion, was not translated the best, but still cool to get, I suppose. I do love the little string lights from the horse stable to the house. This little bird up on the house is adorable. But yeah, this entire build just has a very cozy feel. I love how the porch looks too. It looks like it would just be nice to hang out here. And you can open this door up and of course get inside. And taking a look inside, this place is jam-packed. You have a little living room with a fireplace right here and a chair. A kitchen with an oven, a stove, a fridge, a sink, a mixer. You can see inside the fridge there's milk, there's like a little can of soda, some eggs, and some cheese. That mixer is actually a fantastic build. And I like how the oven can actually open up too. I really like the pictures on the walls on the other side of the house. There's a picture of Mia and Autumn, as well as a callback to the original LEGO Friends with a picture of Mia and Stephanie graduating together. There's also a little TV up here which has some lions on it. And then there's this little dining area too which has these wide open windows. And this is adorable, you got two seats for mini dolls to sit. We've got a full pie piece right here as well as two printed slice of pie pieces. The transparent pink mugs as well. Then coming up to the upper level, a lot of this is themed around the dog in this set. We have a couch which is the perfect size to fit the dog. And you can see the arms of the couch have stickers on them with little paw prints. And it looks like they're scratched up a bit too from the dog. There's also some food and water down here, a bone. And then we also have what I assume is Autumn's bedroom right next to that. I really love the sticker for this carpet on the floor, and I like how she has little plants and drawings on these shelves on her wall. And then the very leftmost room is the bathroom, you can see there's a toilet, a sink, as well as a bath, and the bath is actually made to be big enough to fit the dog in this set, so that way you can bathe the dog in this set too. And that's really fun, I actually like that a lot. On the opposite side, there's this door that opens and leads out to this table out here, and this looks like a little place to go bird watching because there's a little book about birds on this table, as well as binoculars, and I think this is meant to be a little telescope. In terms of mini dolls, of course you get Autumn in this set, but you also get Aaliyah and Leo, which I'm happy to say they did include some of Autumn's friends too. But most importantly, this is the one and only set to come with the adult version of Mia, who's of course one of the original LEGO friends and Autumn's mother, so she's actually a super cool figure to have. Here's a closer look at that dog figure that comes in this set too. So I wouldn't call this a must-have set by any means, but it's genuinely really well done. I think it's great for LEGO Friends fans especially, but even if you aren't a LEGO Friends fan, don't write it off completely. I don't like it as much as, say, the grocery store, but it is genuinely a really good price. It looks great and you get so much here. So honestly, yeah, I would still recommend this one. Next, we have the massive Heart Lake International School, which is 985 pieces and retails for $99.99 in the US. This one is one that I'm sure is fairly popular. This is the kind of thing that, like, I know my little sister would have loved when she was little. She collected LEGO Friends a lot, and this seems like the kind of set she would really want. And as an older collector, I mean, I like it, but I don't think it's nearly as good as some of the other sets that we looked at. It's kind of more on par with the dog clinic, where, like, it's good for what it wants to be, and it's a great toy, but it doesn't go above and beyond like Autumn's House the grocery store does. Still, though, there's a lot going on with this set. I love just like, the sort of random placement of all the windows. That gives everything a very unique look. The sticker banner pieces are a nice touch, too, and I like the giant book at the top with all the different subjects that you study at the school. Moving up a bit closer, you can see there's a basketball hoop on the outside, and there's a few different entrances to actually get into this building, such as the sliding door right here. There's also the main double doors at the front, and then coming around to the side, there's a little snack stand as well as this rainbow stairway that leads up to the upper level. Now turning this around and actually taking a look at the upper level, you get to this little garden up here as well as just a place where I guess sit and study. Now if it looks like this set's falling apart, that's because it kind of is. Every single individual room in the set's modular so you can rearrange how this entire building looks. So for example, I could completely remove the seating area up here, and that gives me access into this cafeteria underneath. But you can see like there's the stairway on the side right here and that can also be removed, and I can also remove this section from the rest of the building. I'm not going to do that with every section in this video, but just know they can all be removed. So if you want to customize the school to your own liking, you very well can. But yeah, if you notice anything slightly out of place in this video, that's because there is just so much to this set that I may not have pushed a section on completely and just not noticed, or something fell out of place and I just didn't realize. But anyway, we have a little kitchen down here where food could be prepared. There's like a sandwich and a drink, as well as an area for two students to sit. Then behind that in its own little section, we have a bathroom right here, which has a stall that opens up. Happy to say there's actually a stall in a Lego set. That's something we don't see all too often. As well as two sinks and soap in the center and also a stickered mirror piece. Unfortunately, that's not the actual stickered mirror piece that actually reflects anything. It's entirely up to your 
own imagination. Would have been nice if we got the other one here, but it's not the biggest deal. Then next to that, we have the main lobby that the doors open up into. You can see there's a receptionist desk right here with a computer on it, and two lockers at the back that could be opened up. This one has that printed bubblegum piece inside as well as a helmet, and the other one also has a helmet as well as an apple. Then the level above that is the science lab, and this is probably the coolest looking room in this set. We've got a little spill on the ground right here, a beaker on top of a burner, and there's a microscope looking at an acorn, a skeleton in the corner though that is a minifigure skeleton and not like a Lego Friends character skeleton, so the proportions are a little off in the context of this set, but I guess we should try not to think about that too much. And then we also have a little hamster on the side right here with some water. The room next to that's a little art studio, and you can see there's art done by a few of the characters in the set. This one's signed Aliyah, that one's Leanne, and this one says Paisley. And then there's also two computer screens right here which seem to have a digital art program open. And then the final room below that I believe is meant to be a film class. Got lots of different camera equipment on the wall right here as well as a projector on the ceiling. I really like how they did these desks right here, they remind me a lot of the desks in actual schools. And then on the other side of the room there's a giant camera piece right here and it looks like they're editing a video on this big screen too. In terms of mini dolls of the main friends, this set comes with Autumn, Alaya, and um... <sighs> Ollie. I really like the outfit that Aliyah comes with in this set. The yellow and the blue look really nice together. And then the other two mini dolls are Nico and Miss Hale. And I think the hair pieces on both of them are actually pretty good. So while this isn't a bad set by any means, it definitely feels a lot more like a toy than a lot of the other sets. And I mean, yeah, these sets are meant to be toys, so that makes sense. But if you're an older collector looking for like a fantastic build, this is probably not the set for you. But if you want something more fun to play with, I'd honestly recommend this one. Because there's just so much to do here, and I love how different all the rooms are. And they fit perfectly for a school. And don't get me wrong, the build doesn't look bad by any means. In fact, it's actually quite good but it's just not as complex as the builds in some of the other sets. Okay, now finally coming to a smaller set, here we have the Mobile Bubble Tea Shop, and this one's actually really cute. It's this little tea shop that's pulled by the scooter at the front right here, and I just love the theming of everything here. Despite just being a small $10 set, there's actually quite a bit of room inside the Bubble Tea Shop. I really love the stickered pieces of the tea all over the place, and it looks like there's some ingredients on this side too. This feels like it's the scale it should be, right? A mini doll fits inside here perfectly, and you get two of this bubble tea piece, which is actually printed. There's also this little bubble tea mascot character, which is absolutely adorable, and there's two mini dolls in the set. First, Nova, who's of course one of the main characters, and she's probably one of my favorite designs. I especially love the all-new hair piece for her. I really hope we get that in other colors and other themes pretty soon. But then we also get Matilde, who I believe is exclusive to this set, and I do like her outfit with the boba tea apron. However, her hair piece is incredibly generic and nothing all too exciting. Still, though, I think this is a pretty amazing $10 set, and while it's not going to be for everybody, if it interests you and you think it's potentially cute, I'd recommend you pick it up, because honestly, it feels like a pretty good value for the price. Next, we have the Mobile Tiny House, which retails for $64.99 in the US, contains a total of $700. 85 pieces. This is another one from this wave that I absolutely love. It is way better than it has any right being, and it's such a fun idea for a set too, a mobile house. It's literally a house with wheels like it's pulled by a car, but this set has a crazy level of detail for a LEGO Friends set, and you get so much here for the price. I actually really like this one. The car at the front's on the more basic side of things. It does feel quite big, especially compared to like LEGO City cars. LEGO City's a theme I've been covering a lot recently, and yeah, this feels more significant than the ones that come in those sets. But still, obviously, it's nowhere near on the level of like a Speed Champions car or anything. But I think it works what it wants to be in this set. There's a total of two seats in there to fit mini dolls as well as a third one at the back, so that way you can fit all three of the characters that come in this set, and you can see the house itself connects on with the mini ball joint to the back of the car. You can also open the house up by swinging this piece open, and then the house itself can come open. But first, take a look at the outside. There's a water faucet out here, a little mailbox, a birdhouse, a house number, a door with a pet door on it, which is super cute, and then the other side, we just have more windows and a plant hanging down right here. The roof here is gorgeous. I love all the foliage growing on it, and the solar panels are a really nice touch. I also love how there's windows up here just to let in some skylight. But now, actually opening this up and taking a look inside, there is a ton to this build. Like, there's genuinely so much here. Starting on the left side, there's, of course, a bathroom right here. There's a sticker piece of the picture of a chicken on the wall, toilet paper, a toilet, a sink. Then we have the main entrance where the door opens up. And on the other side, there's a little kitchen. You get the butcher knife piece of lime green here, which I believe is an all new recolor for this set, and that's just a fun recolor to have. And you can see there's also an oven, a stove, there's some eggs right here, as well as some drawers to store more cooking ingredients. There's a cabinet or fridge right here as well, and it's got orange juice inside, as well as what I assume is meant to be cheese. And then right next to the entrance, there's what's meant to be a little ladder. And that leads you up to this top level, which is actually sleeping quarters for all the characters in this set. There's a pink bed with music notes on it, a little area that has a water bottle for one of the animals in this set. And then on the other side, there's a green bed that has a wave in the sun on it. And then finally, there's an orange bed with a picture of a cat on it. When the house is closed up, the roof sections can actually still be hinged open. So there's how that top area looks and everything's connected together. And then here's the side building in this set, this little campfire. There's three logs of characters to sit on, obviously four logs in the center with fire coming up. And then these two tiny little trees, this is adorable. It perfectly encapsulates the vibes of camping. And then finally, the set comes with a little sign that points towards the campsite. Coming back to the house one last time, there's this white section that flips down. And this is like a little outdoor bed 
side. You can put the cat right here if you want, or you can have one of the mini dolls lay down here, but that's just another fun option to have. And then you get three total mini dolls in this set. First, there's Leanne, who comes with a Heart Lake City postcard. Then we have Paisley, and this is my first time looking at her in this video, but I love the hairpiece on her. Such a cool part. And she also comes with the guitar as an accessory. And then finally, we have Leo, who actually has a pretty cool outfit. Then we have the animals in the set. First, there's this grumpy orange cat, who is awesome. He comes in quite a few sets, but I still really love this guy. Very happy he's included here. Then there's the sand blue bunny, who I don't love. The proportions are just kind of odd to me. Might be cute for kids, I guess, but yeah, not one of my favorites. And then there's this little yellow lizard, who's a ton of fun as well. I like the spots in his back and his big ol' eyes. He's got like this very happy expression. This guy's a lot of fun. This is another set that I would highly recommend. Even if you don't like Lego Friends, you might still like this set. The price is genuinely quite good too, so especially if you find it on sale, this is an amazing deal. Cannot recommend this one enough. It is super well done. Alright, next we have another small set, the Dog Rescue Bike, which also retails for $9.99 in the US. A total of 125 pieces, and I think this set's fine. Personally, not one I'm like super passionate about, but if you like the characters in the set or you like the concept behind it, I don't think it's a bad set by any means. The main build is, of course, the Dog Rescue Bike itself. It's just the classic Lego bike piece at the front, and then it's got an attachment on the back with like this little carrier that can hold a dog inside. That's definitely fun for play, but there's nothing all too crazy to it. I do like how there's a little ramp around the back too to allow the dog to actually get up though, and then you can close them in like that. Then we have a small area of a park. You can see there's a lamp right here with a stickered piece of a picture of the dog, and it's like a missing sign to show that the dog's lost. However, of course, the dog is right here. And there's lots of dog-related stuff on the ground. We got a bone that looks like the dog has, unfortunately, uh, pooped twice. And there's also some sticker pieces of some paw prints as well as a collar. And then finally, there's like this little picnic table or stand or something with a sandwich on it. I think it's meant to be a picnic table, but it only has one seat, so that's a little bit confusing. But yeah, it's just a sandwich for the minifigures or I guess the dog in the set to eat. Speaking of the minifigures, or I guess more specifically mini dolls, you get two in this set. First, we have Alaya in a different outfit than we saw her in the other sets. And then we have Victoria, who's one of the child mini dolls. And yeah, just like I said, I don't love the child mini dolls. I think their giant heads are kind of scary. And our hairpiece is nothing all too special either. So yeah, this one's only $10, and you do get quite a bit here. So I don't think it's a bad one to pick up if you're interested. But if you're not interested, you're really not missing too much if you skip out on this one. Personally, I would say it's probably just a good one to skip. Unless you really want that dog figure, because I believe this little guy's exclusive. There's a look at him up a little bit closer. He's got like a very mischievous look on his face. Sticking with the theme of rescuing dogs, here's the dog rescue van. This one contains exactly 300 pieces, and it retails for $29.99 in the US. The set has this little build of a bus stop right here, and you can see the dog that's in a wheelchair comes in this set, and the poor guy has been abandoned in a cardboard box at the bus stop. There's stickered pieces on that cardboard box that say fragile, and you can see there's even a sign out the back right here that says no dogs. There's also that same printed part of the missing dog poster that's actually a printed part in both sets, and there's a tiny little play feature right here. You got the dog in the box, so you push it on this technique piece right here, and the dog will actually run out. Or I guess Fallout. <laughs> I mean, very simple little play feature, but works. And then the bus stop itself is cute. You can see on the bench at the bus stop, there's actually an advertisement for the truck that comes in this set. And now looking at the truck itself, I will say from the outside, it does feel maybe a little bit overly simple. Just lots of round pieces used, and the colors are very bright. I've actually liked a lot of the LEGO Friends vehicles this way, but this one does feel a lot like old LEGO Friends, where it's like overly bright and colorful, so it's probably not my favorite, at least from the outside. I do like the logo, though, with the dogs in the boxes. And you can see that's on the top right here on this bone, which is super cute. The the roof of the van can be popped off and there's how it looks inside. And then this back section can also be removed. You can see there's a crowbar in here. And we can open this up and take a look inside. You can see there's a little place to give the dog a bath. And on the other side there's a box of dog food, a bow, some cleaning supplies on a shelf, and a food and water bowl on the side right here. There's two mini dolls in the set. First there's Dr. Marlin, who I believe is exclusive. And he's got some fine printing for a mini doll, but nothing all too exciting with the hairpiece or anything. And then the set also comes with Nova, who as I mentioned is one of my favorite designs for the main characters of this wave. Love that hairpiece and you can see she comes with a sad face of this set, as well as this t-shirt with a ghost on it. But then this is one of a few sets that also comes with an alternate headpiece. And you can see this is just her standard face print where she's quite happy. She also comes with a printed phone piece in her hand, and phone pieces come in tons of sets. But this specific print I actually don't recognize. I believe this is exclusive to LEGO Friends, so that's pretty cool to get. But yeah, all things considered, this is not one of my favorite sets of the wave. Again, not bad. Like, we really haven't had any bad sets so far. But this is another one that feels very much more for play than for display. I do like the bus stop and everything, but the truck leaves a little bit to be desired, in my opinion. So if you want this dog figure for cheap, I suppose this is a fine way to go about it. But in my opinion, there's just better sets out there than this one. Next, here's the hair salon set. This one retails for $39.99 and contains a total of 401 pieces. I will say, this is one of the few sets that definitely feels overpriced this wave. To me, this feels like it should definitely be a $30 set, not a $40 set, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. All things considered, with how expensive LEGO is nowadays, LEGO Friends surprisingly isn't feeling that overpriced, which is definitely good to see. Taking a look at the builds, though, first there's this bench with a lamp on the side. This is actually pretty cute. I like this. Then we have a sign advertising the hair salon. You can see it's got hours on the front, and it looks like this is probably prices on the back. 
And then we have a little area where a scooter can be parked and it also comes with a scooter. Then going to the actual hair salon, I absolutely love these giant glass windows at the top. The logo with the scissors looks pretty good too, it's very clear immediately what this is supposed to be. I do like how there's a hang sign on the front and there's also a little plant pot. And then there's also a little gumball machine around the side, which I'm not really sure how that ties in with the hair salon, but it's definitely a very fun build, I like how all the little studs are in there loosely. And you're able to spin this little crank at the bottom. There's of course double doors that open up to allow you inside. And inside there's quite a bit going on, you have these different bottles of different hair products as well as the sticker of a shelf up here. There's a cash register, a broom, a place for mini dolls to actually wash their hair in the sink. I like this carpet design with little scissors on it. And then you can see there's two wigs right here just to be different hairstyles for the minifigures in this set. And then on the other side, there's another chair where the minifigures can actually get their hair cut. Very similar carpet on the ground, and there's a mirror right here, though again, that's not an actual mirror. It's just the sticker to represent one. And then in terms of mini dolls, this set of course comes with <sighs> Ollie, as well as Paisley and this is yet another set that comes with multiple headpieces for the mini dolls. So Paisley has an alternate face where she's like shocked and surprised by her haircut. And then finally we have Nadia who's the hairdresser in this set. I like how wealthy and retorsive print is. And that hairpiece on her is pretty good, I like getting that in pink. So I'd say overall this is a fun set, definitely a little bit overpriced. But I feel like Hair Salon's an iconic part of LEGO Friends, so it makes sense for them to make a new one for the reboot. And I think kids could definitely have a lot of fun with this. Then moving on, we have the Skate Park set. This one retails for $49.99 in the US. And you know what? I wasn't expecting to like this set, but honestly it's pretty good. For one, the price isn't bad. It's 431 pieces, which is not 10 cents per part. But comparing it to modern LEGO prices, it's on par. And especially when comparing it to LEGO City Stunts, because LEGO City Stunts uses a lot of these same parts, this is significantly cheaper than a LEGO City Stunt set in similar scale. And also just looks better in my opinion. I love the colors on this. They're just bright and fun without being too flashy. Here's the main area with ramps and there's a ton of different stuff here. It's lots of fun just to roll your characters around here. And this works with both minifigures and mini dolls. I like how there's a bit of graffiti on the ramps and also on these stairs right here. But yeah, you can see there's somewhat varied terrain to it all. I think this is captured really well. I also love these giant blue post pieces. That's a very common part, but I don't believe I've ever seen them in that color before. So that's a super cool ray color to get. Then the set also includes this other smaller ramp area. And then finally there's a building that's like this little shop. You can see they're selling a skateboard out front and the skateboard does have sticker pieces on it to make it feel more unique. Double doors that open up and I love how the handles of the door are roller skates so that's so much fun. And looking inside they're selling roller skates, extra wheels for the skateboards, as well as bubble gum and drinks. Now there's a tiny little elevator built on the outside of the building and that is so cool to see because there's a character in a wheelchair that comes in this set. So they actually took the care to make this set wheelchair accessible so that way she could still make it up to that upper level. And on this upper level there's some graffiti and a couch. And looking at the mini dolls, first we have Leanne in skate gear, you can see she even has like knee pads on. So this is an exclusive variant for this set. Then the set also comes with Zack, as well as Luna, who's the minifigure in the wheelchair. She has a very generic hair piece, but I do love the wheelchair piece. I believe that's exclusive to LEGO Friends, so definitely quite cool to see, and I like the color purple for it too. The set also includes a gumball machine, as well as alternate helmet hair pieces for both Leanne and Luna. And now coming to the final four LEGO Friends sets of this video, we're not done with sets, but I am getting to the last few LEGO Friends sets, we have the four different bedroom sets. Now these are some of my favorite sets of the LEGO Friends wave, and these are more sets that even if you don't like LEGO Friends, I would consider, starting here with Leanne's room. So you can see Leanne's themed around both art and skateboarding. And as such, her room is very colorful. Looks like she has a drawing tablet where she's making some comic about a raccoon. Lots of different like capsules and drinks and whatnot on the wall. She's got this big shelf in the center right here and this actually folds down to be her bed. In universe, not sure how that's supposed to fold down without all these books falling out. But that is a cool transformation that helps keep this set small. And you can see with that folded down, there's a giant stickered piece that just has like stuff in her closet. Pictures of her with her friends, a giant hat. Then we have what I assume is like a little seat right here where she can look out into this giant window. And then there's this little tank for a pet lizard which you can just slot him in like this. And you can see from the front it looks like he's encased in glass, but from the back it's entirely open. This set also comes with a paint palette on the top right here, which that's a super cool part to get. And then aside from that, we have two stickered easels. It looks like Leanne and Autumn were both trying to draw the lizard, though one of them is a little bit better at it than the other, as well as this tiny little table that you can place something on. The two figures in this set are, of course, Leanne as well as Autumn, and it's great to have a cheap way to get these two. I like the variants that they come with in this set, too, with the paint splatters on them. Then we have Aaliyah's room. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but all the room sets retail for $19.99 in the US, so fairly good prices all around considering what you get. But anyway, Aaliyah's room is one of my favorites because it's just so jam-packed. It looks like Aaliyah's really into books because we get a lot of books in this set. And of course the two mini dolls are Aaliyah and Paisley. But anyway, here you can see Aaliyah's bed's right here and it also opens up to expand to a second bed, so that way if she's having a sleepover such as with Paisley, they can both lay down there. There's also a stickered bookshelf on the wall, more shelves with books, photographs, plants, etc. I actually quite like the design for desk and how she has a bucket with two pens, a little note that she's writing, and it looks like she has a first place ribbon here for something too. The chair at her desk is able to spin, which is nice to see. And then she has like this cloud shaped table right here and she has a little dog as well which is similar to the one in the small set however it is a slightly different color but yeah equally as goofy looking i love how the plants are growing all around the room too that just gives off such great vibes and then here's a look at the minifigures they both come in exclusive pajama variants for this set but this is of course the paisley figure 
and then here's Aaliyah, and she also comes with a book as an accessory. On the inside's printed and it says Once Upon a Time, but then the cover's a sticker and it looks like it's some sort of romance book. Next, here's Leo's room, and there's a ton of different stuff in this one. He's got like a mini little kitchen set up right here as well as a cookbook. They can see it has like ingredients inside. There's a spoon and what seems like a little cake. Then, of course, that grumpy cat does belong to Leo, so the cat comes in this set and he stands on this little perch right here that has a fish on a fishing rod on it, so I guess that's something for the cat to just swat at. Then, by his bed, he's got a little picture frame of himself and. <sighs> Ollie. But you could swap that out for a picture of him with Leanne and Autumn if you want, and I would recommend you probably do that. Also, a life vest and a surfboard right here, so I guess he likes surfing. And you can see he's got a bunk bed, so both figures in this set can actually sleep. One bed has like an ocean design on it, and the other one just has a bunch of fish. Now, Leo actually does have a back porch. You can see this door right here just slides open. And out here, there's a drink, a flower, as well as a little diving mask, which you can see has a snorkel on it. There's also a chef's hat for Leo, and a brick-built soccer net, which ties in with this orange soccer ball piece that comes in the set, so you can just play with those two together. Leo comes in like an exclusive chef's outfit in this set, while <sighs> Ollie just has like the spring green shirt on. So it's definitely not my favorite of the bedroom sets, but I still think it's pretty solid. However, it does come with Ollie, so that definitely makes it the worst. But then coming to the final bedroom set and also the final Lego Friends set in this video, here we have Nova's room, which is personally my favorite of all the Lego Friends bedroom sets. The colors on this thing are just awesome. I love the lighter blue for the floor contrasted with the dark blue for the walls, and then teal the desk and bed and neon yellow for the top. It all just comes together so nicely and makes for such a cool looking room. You can see Nova's got like a little streaming setup right here. She's got this big giant gamer chair a double monitor setup where you can see one side is her face cam and another side she's playing a game. And I believe that's actually a Bionicle game, which is a fun touch. Stickered RGB keyboard piece, as well as her actual PC right here. It looks like she has a mini fridge down here with drinks. A skull, which is kind of interesting. Some sort of action figure. Her microphone, of course. Magenta Frog, which I believe is exclusive to this set, but very funny. And of course, just the Lego video game controller piece. There's a second much smaller seat right next to that. And that's where you can have Zach sit or have the dog in the set sit. Then we have a little shelf over here that has a picture of the dog, a lava lamp, as well as other things. Looks like she has a trophy from a gaming competition. And this shelf can actually be slid out of the way, and hidden behind it, there's a poster for that same book that Eli was reading, so I guess Nova's just embarrassed by this poster or something, so she hides it away. Then she's got, like, this lightning lightsaber-type thing above her bed right here, a couple of star-shaped lights, and then, yeah, here's her teal bed, which you can see has a ramp for the dog to get up, which is super cute. And then the bed itself can actually be flipped up, too, as well, to access more room underneath. This set also includes a little workbench for Nova, I guess, to work on improving the dog's wheelchair. And, yeah, of course, the wheelchair dog itself does come in this set, just as cute as ever. Then we have an exclusive version of Nova with that video game controller torso piece, and an exclusive version of Zack with an Eat Sleep Game shirt, which is the coolest thing ever, let's admit it. As well as a laptop, I guess he brought it over so they could play games together. But yeah, I highly recommend the bedroom sets to everyone, even if you're not a fan of LEGO Friends. I mean, there's nothing about this that screams LEGO Friends. And you can very easily modify these sets to be for other characters from other themes if you wanted to. But I just think they're so much fun. And while I'd say just get whatever one you like the most, personally, I would recommend this one. This is my favorite of the four, but all of them are quite good, and I hope LEGO does more of them in the future. But that's that's it for the LEGO Friends set, so now let's get into the other sets that I want to review. Yeah, we're not done with this video just yet. I told you it was going to be a big one. Real quick, I want to take a break from the reviews and give a shout out to all of my YouTube members for helping support the channel, and an extra special thank you to Pyro Whipper Tier and Above, who are Suntan, Dominic Zeros, Fujitsu Master Aaron, Mezbricks, The Brick Rookie, and Tumble 3D. Also, an extra, extra special shout out to Craftmaster, who is a Golden Dr. Julian tier, and his Instagram is linked in the description below if you guys want to go check him out. Thank you guys for still supporting me, even though I've been very behind on the shout outs. But don't worry, you missed like six months of shout outs. I'm going to continue to try to shout you out. And if you, the viewer, want to shout out in a future video, you can become a YouTube member today. Becoming a YouTube member gets you all sorts of cool perks, such as access to the Bricks by Mine Discord server, emotes of my live streams and comments, and if you're Pirate Whipper tier or above, you get a shout out once a month when I remember to do it. But yeah, like I said, the goal of this is for this to become monthly again, and fingers crossed that I'm going to be able to do that. But yeah, thank you to all the members for supporting me. I greatly appreciate it. But now let's get back to the review. The next set I'm going to take a look at is actually a LEGO Marvel set, the Miles Morales vs. Morbius set. I bought this set all the way back in January just because I won the Morbius figure, but I have to say, it's actually kind of a fire set. I really, really like this one. For one, this is one of the few ways to get a Miles Morales Spider-Man minifigure right now, which of course with the popularity of Spider-Verse, that's very nice to see. And this is a pretty good minifigure. I would have liked if he had arm printing like the Peter Parker Spider-Man has, and Dolmo legs would have been cool too, but the torso and mask print are both really good, and then he has like his electric web shooting out. Morbius is a very funny minifigure as well, but I think he's actually pretty well done, and I quite like the alternate face that he has. And then you get two classic Lego bats too, which are super cute. But then the extra car is quite good. I really wasn't expecting it to be this great. The car does 
use Miles' color scheme, which is actually really nice to see because typically the Spider-Man vehicles just use the standard red and blue. So this is a nice way to mix things up. This curved piece at the front is a printed piece too with the Spider-Man logo on it, and that looks so cool. But yeah, just the shaping of everything is super sleek. I love the large red windshield at the front. There's tons of room in the cockpit to fit a minifigure. Like Miles himself is actually quite tiny in the car. And then the exhaust at the back uses the Ninjago crystallized like giant crystal blade piece, but in trans blue instead of trans pink, which is an incredible recolor. I believe this is the first time that piece has been recolored, but it works perfectly for just like an energy blast coming out the back. This set is $25. It probably should have been 20, but I still don't regret my purchase earlier this year because yeah, this is a quite good set. Miles is an amazing minifigure and Morbius is very funny. So I'm quite satisfied with this one. Then we actually have one more LEGO Minecraft set to take a look at, and that is the Bee Cottage right here. And this is another set that I completely forgot existed, otherwise I probably would have reviewed it earlier this year. But it's cute, it's just like another one of the LEGO Minecraft Animal Houses. It's the second ever set that bees come in, and you get a total of four of them in this set. Once again, with both the Angry and the Happy variants. And I like how these two could spin around this tree with a bee nest in it. The brick-built bee house is absolutely adorable, I especially love how they did the wings. And I think it's got the right amount of interior space, nothing too crazy going on, but for a $25 set I think it's fine. The player character's in like a bear costume with honey dripping on them, and it does come with an iron hoe in this set, and then the set also comes with a baby zombie who's a slightly more uncommon minifigure. This is another set that feels maybe slightly overpriced, $25 feels like a bit too much, $20 would have been perfect, but it is cute for what you get, so if you like Minecraft Bees, this is a good one to pick up, but I would say it's certainly not a must-have by any means. Next we have the Flower Bouquet set, and this is another one that was sent to me by Lego, and this is one that's been out for a few years now, but I've always been curious about it, and I put this together with my girlfriend, and it was actually a ton of fun. I know this set's been praised a lot already, so I don't have too much to add, but yeah, there's really just so many creative parts used, and it just looks so nice. You can see I've got it in an actual vase here because we just display this in my house now. It's one of the few Lego sets that looks really nice in any room, like outside of a Lego collection. A few highlights, I love the use of the pterodactyl wings for the leaves of the plants, and all the different colors used are just so pretty. You can also see I have a sunflower in here that is from a different set, but it just fits in so well. Yeah, nothing but good things to say about this one, especially if you have someone else to build it with. I would highly recommend this set, it's just so, so nice. And then the final set I have for this video is this one right here, simply called a race car. It's from LEGO City, and this one was sent to me by the LEGO Ambassador Network. When I was working on my last, like, custom build video, I think I requested this set accidentally, or maybe they just sent me the wrong set accidentally, because, yeah, I never meant to get this one, but now I have it. But it's a 4-plus set, so I thought I might as well review it. And I mean, it's fine for a 4-plus set. You get two minifigures for only $10. That's pretty nice. I like all the printed parts on it. This one says Turbo. This is the number 8 at the front. And you can see that Turbo piece is on the other side, too. Despite being a 4-plus set, it doesn't feel, like, overly blocky or anything. So, yeah, I don't have a ton to say about this one. I mean, it's solid for what it wants to be. I honestly didn't know this set existed, but I'm not upset that I have it. So yeah, this is something that interests you. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's only $10, so I think it's all right. And there we go. There was my review of a lot of stuff. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of all these sets. Is there any other sets you want to see me cover in my next video? Mine monthly is going to be specifically for sets that, like, I don't feel like making full videos on. So if there's anything that came out, like, a while ago that you want to see my thoughts on, let me know in the comments. And if it's something I'm interested in, too, then maybe I'll pick it up between now and then. But yeah, this video has been long enough, so I'll end it here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! Bye.